Okay, the next topic in the course is going to be how do you solve systems of equations when you don't want to graph them? Graphing takes up a lot of paper, a lot of time, etc. There's mathematical ways to do these things that are much more powerful than graphing. I mean, we've seen in, in a couple of examples that I've done on the board that you've got to be very precise with exactly how you draw the lines or some of the points don't look exactly right. Of course, that can be helped by using graph paper and a straight edge, but it's pretty tedious, especially when the lines are kind of complicated, okay? So I'm going to show you a technique that's very powerful, very common, and it's very much mandatory for you to understand for Algebra 2. It's called solving a system of equations by substitution. This is actually my favorite method. I use this one all the time. Let me show you how to do that with an example. Okay? Let's say you have a system of equations like this. y is equal to 2x, and the second line is x plus y is equal to 6, and I want to solve this system of equations. Well, what I'm going to do is, remember these two things, whenever these two lines are satisfied, there's one point that's an intersection of these two lines. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first equation, which is, says y is equal to 2x, and I'm going to turn around and I'm going to plug it in into that second equation, okay, into this spot for y, and then I'm going to go from there, and you'll see where we go. So let's do that. Using the second equation, x plus y, but remember, y is just equal to 2x, so I'm going to put a 2x here, equals 6. This is very crucial for you to understand what we're doing here, okay? I've got two equations. I've got one of them already solved for y. I take this y, which is equal to 2x, I put it in here, and this is what I get, x plus y, but in this case, y is equal to 2x, equals 6. I can simplify this and say, 3x equals 6. And then I can solve for x and say x is equal to 2 because I just divide both sides by 3. So I have, I know that x is equal to 2. Now, let me use a different color to make it clear. You can take what you have found here and plug it back in to either one of these equations and they'll both give you the same answer. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and try to do that and I'll just do it in a different color. I've taken, I know that x is equal to 2, let's say I put it up into this top equation. y is equal to 2 times x, x is given by 2 here, we just found that, that's equal to 4. Um, let's say I put it into this bottom equation instead, let's just say 2 goes into here. So I've got 2 plus y equals 6, if I happen to cho choose the second equation. Now I solve for y, and you'll see right away that y is equal to 4. So what I found is the solution. The solution is x is equal to 2, y is equal to 4. This is the solution to that system of equations. You take one of the equations, plug it into the other one, and solve for a variable, in this case x. Then you take what you found, you plug it back in to either one of these equations, and then you'll get the other variable that you're looking for, y. And what you've done here is you've proven that these two numbers, 2 comma 4 is a solution of this system, and of course if you were to plug these numbers back in, you would find that it, it is satisfied. There. I think the easiest way to, just to kind of get your arms wrapped around this, is just to keep on working. Let's say we have another system. y is equal to 2x minus 6. Another equation is 2x plus y is equal to 6. This is my system. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this equation and I'm going to plug it in here. The reason I'm going to do that is because 